All right. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to first thank you all for joining us for this afternoon session. Um, my name is Bruno Abilera. I'm going to be hosting this webinar. And I have on the back of the scenes Mr. Vener Venter uh, being my co host. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, C Class EL VLOX. Um, and um, I hope you guys find this uh, session informative. So just to dish out a bit of the agenda here, um, I want to give a brief introduction of, of our team, uh, which I will do right now myself. Um, I'm Bruno Abilera, been working for DataMine for 12 years or so. I'm a mine engineer by trade, um, and I've been recently tasked with the integration of, of the IMS products that we recently acquired with the DataMine portfolio of, uh, of software and technology, and to promote this on our, on our beautiful continent. Um, with me, I have Vener as part of my team. He is the, uh, the go-to guy in terms of support. He is, uh, has vast knowledge in our systems, uh, inclusive of C-Class. He's been working for the company for 12 or 13 years um, as it moved through, through different owners. And now, finally, he ended up here with us at DataMind. So I'm very proud of having a guy with his knowledge on our team here in Africa. I think uh, we have lucky customers here in Africa to have him supporting uh, their systems. Um, and um, and yeah, so that's a quick introduction about who is behind the scenes here today. Um, and I will talk uh, uh, briefly about the IMS suite of products um, and the relationship of data mining IMS and how this thing, uh, how it came about. And I will jump into the into the core part of the presentation, uh, which is um, our um, uh, our C class EL. Uh, what is Velox? The, the Velox approach that we're suggesting. Um, was the implementation uh, process that we have behind it. And then I'm gonna wrap up with some questions and answers and, and final considerations. All right, so moving on here, um, following the agenda, intelligent mining solutions. So that's the IMS. This is a, a set of products that were carved out from the ABB group, uh, the, the Swiss giant. Um, we we re data mine uh, acquired this, this technology late last, uh, mid last year. Um, and it comprised of like, uh, uh, C class, which is what we're going to be talking about today, uh, which is a, 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 a world class limb system. We have uh, Mindscape, which is an industry leader on the geological modeling for coal, um, and uh, it's a great entry door for, for data mine on the coal space. So, we're very happy with that acquisition here. Uh, mine Market is the industry most comprehensive enterprise solution for inventory and logistics marketing. Um, and finally, production accounting, uh, best practice metal accounting system for mining, mining and mineral processing. Uh, myself uh, and Werner, we uh, both uh, focus on the mine market production account and CCLES. Um, Henny Kodzia, my colleague, is leading the Mindscape um, uh, side of the business. Um, I'll be most likely hosting a, a mine market and production accounting webinar pretty soon. So stay tuned. Um, um, hope to see you guys there. I think there's a lot of uh, uh, synergies between the, this audience um, and, the, and the mine market uh, and production accounting audience as well. All right, so that's on a nutshell IMS. Uh, and um, I think data mine, uh, as, a, as, a, as how data mine IMS uh, uh, comes together, I think uh, we are constantly expanding our interests on the on the value chain. So data mine is, is looking for uh, opportunities to 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 acquire and uh, and develop more uh, technologies on the value chain. I think IMS came like a glove for us on the on our, on our acquisition side, and we um, and we are very happy to have this uh, these four applications now as part of our uh, kit for you customers to to enjoy. Um, yeah, so let's just dive in into into the topic uh, of today, which is which is uh, C class EL. So so it's a global lens, really. Uh, C class is a um, it's been over thirty years in development and it's continued on development. It will continue to be in development. R and D it's key. Uh, Data mine is, is proud of uh, continue developing its technology and bringing to the to the, uh, to the uh, best conditions um, uh, for our customers and for uh, and for our own uh, uh, consultants. So. Uh, C class is 30 years in the making and it will continue to be developed further. We have over 250 sites around the world on 75 different countries, 6,000 plus users, right? So we, it, it is really impressive. But but my idea here is not really to to uh, to in, in impress you with those figures and statistics, but rather to impress upon you the 
importance of selecting a LIMS provider that can, which you can trust and has been around the block and knows what it's needed uh, for the industry, okay? So I think this brings a bit of perspective about C class on the on the global uh, out, uh, on the on the global scheme of things. So um, so why why to have a limbs right? Um, well, in the end of the day, you, you want to save time on, on your day-to-day -day duties um, in a lab by automating uh, uh, your process and methods the most that you can. And I think that's really the mission for for C class um, is to produce quality results, shortest possible time frame most efficient manner. So you have an efficient operation running. That's what you, what you want to do. So if you're serious about running a lab efficiently, you need to have a system uh, like ours that, that provides that, that type, of, um, that type of, uh, uh, of capabilities. So there's a list here of, of, uh, of uh, 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 modules that, uh, uh, that C-Class uh, covers, and I'm gonna briefly go through them. I'm gonna dive into more detail in, uh, later on in the presentation where we talk specifically about what's inside of the box of our VLOX implementation that we suggested. So like um, simple registration and tracking of your samples, in, in interface with the instruments, your balances and, and so on, like uh, managing those instruments, uh, quality management, task scheduling, so to routinely oper uh, automate uh, uh, things that you can you can do on a, on a, uh, on a daily basis or, or, or on a schedule. Uh, uh, KPIs monitoring, uh, QC management, barcode label printing, work list generations, uh, online data capture from a wide range of analytical instruments. We have like a library of so many instruments that we deployed over the years. Um, automatic generation of analytical reports and commercial invoices. So just a bit of a, a context to what type of uh, tasks and, and jobs uh, C-Class can help you with. Um, and we're gonna dive in more detail, as I mentioned. So if we look into um, the benefits for, for the customers, right? So if you're looking to the, the perspective of the different people that are involved on the uh, on on this uh, on, on a system like ours, uh, if I start maybe with the lab manager, right? Um, this is the guy that wants to have uh, samples tracking. Uh, he wants to have visibility. You know, he wants to know what's happening with the sample in the lab at any given point in time. So that's what our system is gonna uh, give to him. It's gonna give him also cost visibility. Um, uh, we have tools to realistically identify the costs associated with testing from all areas of the lab. Um, so that will help you to effectively manage the costs involved in running the operation. Um, uh, he wants to have some instruments alerts. So he wants to know when the instruments are not performing uh, as expected. So we can pre-configure al alerts and you inform you when an instrument is operating outside of the appropriate range. And that will avoid you to process uh, uh, samples when the instrument is not ready for it or, or having consistencies on, on your results. Um, and the instruments that, that you're talking about, it's very sophisticated type of equipment, uh, generate like a, a heaps of data and numbers, uh, and managing this is, is key. So he wants to do that uh, very efficiently, um, especially if you're working maybe on a, a wet chemical environment, uh, the amount of numbers uh, and data generated, it's, it's quite heavy. And, and C-Class uh, ensures that such numbers are captured, stored, and manipulated with the most confidence and applied to the customers, uh, uh, and supply to the customer, to the, to the, to the client, with acceptable quality tolerances on time, efficiently, you know, so there's no cutting and pasting or, you know, typing things, you know, you want to avoid all, all that, um, which is very much prone to error. So, so that's, the, that's what this guy is looking for, and, what, and that's the benefit that he's gonna see on, on, on a product like that. If you're a chemist or, or, or a technician working in a lab, you know, you, you're gonna like the structured work management that we provide with the system. You're gonna enjoy uh, the, the the statistical charting of your QC samples. Um, very easy to generate reports and, and get the uh, get what the information that you need uh, quickly in front of you. Um, and you're gonna enjoy dynamic working lists, uh, which uh, uh, can change dynamically. Uh, if you have more urgent samples uh, registering into the lab, you need to reprioritize things. You, um, uh, this thing here is is gonna definitely be uh, a, a key ally for you um, on the process. If you look into operation side of things, um, if you're a metallurgist or a geo or, or a, a plant controller, um, you, you wanna have accessible uh, results. You, you wanna look into uh, uh, the data that you, uh, that's coming out of the system quick and easy. Um, and that's what we do with, with C-Class uh, because it has a strong integration capability. Um, we can integrate with like a Pi, for example, on your plant or, or, uh, or if you're a geologist, you can integrate with your GDMS, your geological database management systems, uh, maybe Fusion or Sable uh, from DataMine or any other vendor. 
we can definitely integrate with them via our historical database, C-Class historical database we call CHD. Um, you as a, 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 a maybe a, a, a plant manager or, or a geology uh, exploration geo, you want to know when your uh, uh, samples are, are ready, when your assays are, are ready for, for analyzing and you want to see what the results that you got. So you can get an email notification, for example, from, um, from the system. And you also want to have some sort of like ability to register some samples uh, into the system as well. Uh, we have created a way to to give this um, uh, this power to to people outside of the lab to be able to register and choose the the uh, the analysis method that you want to see on that specific sample um, without consuming one one license on the lab. So it's something that's quite cool and and anybody can really um, uh, join and 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 contribute. So I think that. Uh, gives these guys uh, exactly what they need on the operation side. And you own information technology, and maybe you are a CIO, IT manager, you want, again, I repeat in this, the, the statement, that strong integration capability, uh, definitely from a different point of view. You wanna make sure that uh, when you bring in a new system is easy to integrate, and it can uh, integrate with any, any other system that you may have. Um, and I think uh, over the years, we've done it over and over. Uh, we have a lot of know-how on that. Um, Multi-point uh, uh, integration implementations we've been through. So I think that's really the bread and butter for, for us, a second nature to to um, to see class products. And, and in general, IMS products, we um, have like behind the scenes, something that we call iHub that works specifically on that space, make sure that integrations work seamless and um, and effectively. Um, and also on the personal management side of things, um, uh, compliant with the ISO uh, 17025. Um, you know, uh, it's a very important requirement for the for the code here for the for the ISO um, that lab personnel is is properly trained. So on C class um, uh, uh, has a security model that doesn't allow any lab analyst to be granted a, a ability to test or, or to do any any analysis without having uh the uh, skills the skills and the accreditation to do so so um if you don't have the training for that specific analysis you don't have access to it so it's a is a, a key way to guarantee that you have a compliance on on the on this iso there um and also the system helps you to know when it's time for retraining or when when the guy needs to pick up uh, again the, the the training for uh for a specific analysis or or, or instrument so the benefits for the lab on a, on a holistic view, um, here we have listed the several uh, uh, steps on the on the life cycle of a sample, um, and this is uh, information collected over the years from from various uh, customers and commodities and uh, commercial labs and uh, and uh, mineral processing labs. And um, we we notice that introducing a system like ours drastically reduced the amount of hours that you spend on each and every one of those those uh, those stages. Um, cumulatively, if you bring to validation reporting already, uh, you're already like saving like half of the time uh, to process the same sample. Um, less time, less cost. You know, you wanna be uh, fast, you wanna be efficient, um, and, uh, um, and and that's what you're looking for on, on, a, list, on a LIMS uh, uh, technology. And that's exactly what C-Class C -class gonna do. C-Class gonna deliver for you. Looking into some of our customers, um, I think uh, you're going to recognize some of those brands out there. Um, uh, not all of them are here, but I, I would try to, try, to, try to put a nice mix of, of different commodities like uh, coal, um, uh, heavy sands, gold, commercial uh, labs, uh, platinum, so uh, zinc. Uh, so I think uh, it's vast. Uh, water. So it's it's vast. We we cover uh, several industries, um, and uh, uh, we we're very proud of it. Uh, specifically here in Africa, I hi highlighted our our main uh, 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 customers, um, and we're very proud of, of servicing them over many, many years. Um, SGS is not specifically ran here in Africa, but it's uh, but you're gonna find C-Class uh, operating in Africa on various various labs. It's one of the major players here on the on the African industry on on the commercial side, and they use our technology on a daily basis. So this just to give a perspective of where where C-Class uh, stands uh, globally and in on the on the on the industry. Um, now we jump into um, the, the the why and what is the the, the Velox and why we're we going the the Velox approach. Um, I think um, we uh, maybe I'll start from that point there. So now Cyclas is part of a, a global mining software company, is part of Data Mine. Over the years, it has changed hands for a few times, but now I think it found it found home. I think that's where 
this this um, uh, this product is going to be uh, is going to be is going to be for the long run. We're very proud to have a, a, a powerful limb system now on our on our um, uh, suite of technology, uh, and uh, and it's good for the product as well. We are, as I said, data mines is is, so, is a, as a software company focused on mining, and that's what we're going to be uh, for the for the years to come. That's our core business, and we're not going to change. Um, so this is uh, definitely on the right place. And and as we acquired the product, we understood there was maybe a, an opportunity on on the market to um, to uh, appreciate a, a product that's fast to deploy and uh, and it has a low cost to it. Um, and on the top of that, I think we saw an opportunity to use and leverage from the knowledge that we have accumulated uh, over the years that the people that that uh, that join us on the acquisition. Uh, uh, can contribute to the technology. So uh, we have service industry for over 30 years. These people know exactly what the standards and requirements for a lab when analyzing the various commodities out there. Uh, we know what works and what doesn't work. Uh, and most important, we know what your lab needs from a system uh, in order to excel and prosper. Um, so we, we developed this, this, this C-class packaging where we're doing a commodity driven so if you're gold, we're gonna have like one set up tools for you. If you're platinum or if you're coal or whatever you are, zinc uh, or, or, or uh, heavy minerals, we have like a package that uh, um, that's gonna be uh, uh, crafted for your needs because we know what you need. We've been doing that for, for many, many years. So those two guys are very close to each other, hand in hand, fast deployment, low cost and commodity driven. Uh, on the top of that, uh, historically, C-class has, has been built for the mining industry and and the uh, and the mineral processing industry. Um, but it but it's not only right. We it's highly applicable for environmental and water analysis um, uh, industries, and we have customers here in Africa using it on on that space very very efficiently. Um, Yes, in-house resources to service our clients. We are very proud that every single one of the resources involved on support, training, and implementations are, are data mining employees, not third parties, not subcontracted. Um, like that, we want to ensure consistency across the, the globe on everything that we implement. So we want to deliver the same quality on every implementation, doesn't matter where you are. So our consultants, they, they provide a professional service, ranging all the way from planning, implementation, all the way to support. Um, and customers know we are experienced and reliable. Um, we can, uh, they can, uh, they know they're going to be around for the long term. So, so the teams that are looking after implementations and support, they do have a chemistry background. It's not my case, but um, I'm on the commercial side. But, but our teams deploying the systems, uh, they have chemistry background. They work on labs. They understand how your lab works and uh, what, and they, they they're going to make sure that the product is really configured to suit you, your workflow, operation needs. Um, and I think know-how, I think we talked a little bit about, about this before, uh, from small to large-scale operations. We have integrated very small, uh, uh, sorry, implemented in very small labs, I know, just small operations to huge enterprises with multiple uh, uh, points of integration. Um, and we know how to do it. You know, we, we've seen it all and then we were ready for it. So um, I think that gives you the peace of mind. It doesn't matter where you sit on that scale. Uh, we, we have it covered. Um, the long-term outlook also goes back to the mining software company. Uh, uh, you know, uh, that's the, the view of data mine. We continue to invest on our products. We're proud of it, uh, of them. And then uh, it's no different from, from C-Class. We're looking into the, the future for C-Class. We, we're busy right now investing money R&D to, to make the system uh, more user-friendly, fresher, uh, fresher looks uh, without losing the, any of the capabilities and robustness that um, you as customers or maybe people in the industry have heard or have experienced. Um, the long-term outlook, it's again, uh, it's a partnership between us uh, and you customers. Uh, we have a lot of know-how, as we said, but we also wanna hear from you what's, uh, what's missing, what's not there yet, and then, um, uh, and then we're gonna make sure that's, that's part of our outlook. So this is, is key. So that's why, that, that's the key differentiators for you to, to go on a Velox approach. Um, just in terms of, of uh, architecture, um, if you look into C-Class, uh, it, it's, it's very straightforward. And, and I think that's in the benefit of the users um, and infrastructure team uh, supporting this. Um, you, you want something simple um, that's reliable and fast. Um, and I think that's what we provide here. Um, C-Class, um, uh, the database is, uh, uh, sits on a SQL server. Along, so the C-Class database and the historical database, the C-Class historical database sits together on a, on a server, um, and we have another 
one where we want to run the application um, and um, uh, maybe all the to host all the scripts, uh, the executables, and, and applications. So they, they live on separate worlds. Yeah, you can put them together, but we, that's the way we we suggest in general to, uh, the way for it to be. Um, the CHD is quite important, as I mentioned, for the integration. Uh, point of view when you want to integrate with your GDMS uh, or whatever other systems that you may have, I think that's uh, that's key. So um, that's an important part of the game, and it's and it's part of the Velox deployment. Um, then um, everything hooks up on the network where balances are fully integrated. So um, and you have the interfaces with, with the balances uh, writing down to the to the to the database and being uh, uh, run by the by the applications and instruments likewise uh, on the instruments it's important uh, to highlight the necessity to have the upload to the instrument and to the download of the instrument of the results so you upload the the, the analysis and you download the, the results i think this is a uh, is a two-way street and it's important to guarantee um that um integrity is um, is maintained so it's a it's a, a key point here and then um, alongside uh, the, the network or, or on the network, going to have your, your workstations um, using C class, or maybe if you use Citrix or something like this, it's also possible. And um, even um, RDS is like the remote desktop services environments can be deployed. Uh, if you want to use um, C class over the internet, should be no problem. Okay. So on a nutshell, that's the, the, the infrastructure that you're looking in terms of architecture for, um, for C class. Um, then what's inside of the box, really, right, of, of Velox? So what have we packaged together and, uh, and, uh, and made this thing off the shelf? So off the shelf, we're going to have a product that uh, gives you uh, automatic sample registration. So all those streams, uh, we call that stream registration. So um, a production lab that's doing the same samples at, every, at the same time uh, and doing the same analysis, it can do auto registration, saving a lot of time and avoiding uh, manual entries, right? Then uh, automatic registration from files. So as I said, if you're integrating with external systems like your GDMS or 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 uh, um, or, or Pi or whatever, and you and you want to have uh, uh, external uh, uh, systems to uh, register information, you can. Um, it's um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, um, and then uh, it can be a full integration where whatever information comes in can go back and be written on on the other side, or can just be shared via CSV or or, or something like that. Um, the electronic uh, request sheets is, uh, is simply like an Excel sheet, for example, that you can give to people that are not sitting inside of the lab and you don't want to give them a, a license and tie up the system, uh, um, but you want them to be able to participate, uh, register samples and, and choose analysis. Um, this creates a quick XML. It informs the C class about all of this and information uh, is registered and, and processed in the, in, the, in the lab environment. So it's a, it's, a, it's a quite good way to in, inclusively bring uh, your operations team, as I mentioned before, uh, into the party. Um, faster uh, paper, paperwork generation, including all your, your, your registration, or, or sample reg uh, sorry, your, your barcoding. So you wanna, uh, all your paperwork is, is taken care of. Um, track samples preparation status. So uh, you, know, you wanna make sure that if you were milling or grinding or whatever your sample, you wanna, you wanna, you can keep performing the system and you can give visibility. So anybody can see uh, what's happening on a given, uh, uh, on a given uh, status for, for a, given, a given sample. So the instrument upload and download, that's what I was just mentioned uh, on the previous slide. Um, we have a big library uh, with a number of uh, instruments that we have integrated over the years. Uh, we just, you know, gonna find out which, uh, 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 instruments you have on, on, on your on your lab, we will just uh, fine tune the configuration and um, and off you go. You know uh, you can hit the ground running with the with the instrument upload and download libraries. Um, and again, as I said, is a two way street. We want to make sure that you that both of them are are, are there, so we can get uh, a reliable analysis um, and and reliable information as you as you process your sample. Automatic lab batching with multiple QC racks layouts. Um, uh, data manipulation scripts library you have done over the years uh, so many scripts like uh, uh, and, and we know you know the frequently used scripts that people over and over ask for for it so we already built into the system I think that's uh, that's for me uh, one of the things that we can uh, that's going to be part of the roadmap as well I think the more we, we run Velox on, on our customers and the more we understand what is really part of the day-to-day -day things we can just incorporate this into the into the core code, and it's not script anymore. It's going to be part of the uh, of the core code. So I think that's something that uh, to watch this space here. Um, secure hierarchical sample validation means that you have a, a 
uh, an analyst that goes uh, ahead and 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 process a, a given analysis and then he checks in the information into the system the results then a, a chemist or, or, or a QC person checks the, the, the quality control and um, and then finally that thing uh, moves on to to, to reporting um, but once the sample is checked in the results cannot be changed uh, neither the validation on, on the QC so only an admin would be able to do that that that's extremely important for a, a compliance uh, uh, of data security standards so I think that's something that's uh, that's key so we cannot be fiddling around the results as they as they are published into the system um, the C CHD the historical database is also part of the the Velox uh, package uh, um, because a lot of interfaces rely on on it as we discussed before so uh, a big component there then you have like uh, SQL reports um, we have like a, a number of reports that we have implemented over the years, but you have your own, own ideas. You can uh, um, uh, use the, the, the power of uh, secret reports to, to generate the, the reports that are interesting for you. But we have some uh, already predefined uh, uh, templates. Again, I think everybody will do it on a slightly different way, but it's definitely a starting point for you. Uh, and as you progress and mature with the technology, you might want to just uh, uh, increase or, 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 or uh, slightly modify it. It's up to you, but it's definitely possible. Um, and out, again, automatic QC reports. Um, you know, for example, for, for your uh, QC chemists that, that uh, need to run um, reports uh, for uh, on a monthly basis or weekly basis or whatever, like uh, with all the statistics and graphing information, uh, instead of doing that manually, you can just pretty much schedule that uh, upfront, and those reports will be uh, generated automatically, saving a lot of time uh, for your for your team. So automatic SPCs, um, so we, SPC stands for a statistical process control module that we have and is used on generally on a big screen, so a big flat TV um, where we uh, where you monitor the, the quality control samples as they are processed and analyzed. In real time, you can see them on the screen and you can put them uh, uh, aside with your, your most up-to-date standards and see if everything is on the, on the right place as you expect it. Then you have uh, automatic instrument maintenance and calibration scheduler. Uh, it's a module that will allow you to uh, uh, set up a, a calibration and maintenance uh, uh, schedule for, for your instruments and balances. So maybe it's a daily, a monthly, a yearly, whatever it is, um, and it will give you a, a warning when it's time for you to, to, to take action. Uh, and also keep track of the historical calibration and maintenance that, you, that you've done over the years, which is, which is quite, quite interesting as well. Consumable management, so automatic consumable management. Um, you set up the consumables uh, used for each scheme um, uh, on the system. And every time that that scheme is called, uh, called out and used, uh, uh, C-Class will deduct that from, from the stock. And then it can give you an alert or a report uh, when you're reaching uh, the, your minimal acceptable stock level. So you can order more consumables and not uh, be caught off guard and not be able to run a given, um, a given uh, analysis because you don't have a, a, a consumable. Automatic invoicing, so specifically for um, for um, uh, commercial labs, but maybe even internally on the on a company, you need to invoice the departments, different departments. So it's fast and straightforward. Uh, so we we deploy us with the Velox the uh, automatic uh, invoicing um, uh, module, revenue reporting as well. So give you rapid uh, lab lab uh, revenue reports, so you can see what's going on in terms of of revenue side. Um, the simple storage tracking module uh, might not be applicable for everybody, but you're going to see labs that, uh, that need to store uh, samples for, for a set period of time. Um, sometimes the lab needs to go back and find those stored samples and reanalyze them for any given reason. This module was built specifically to help you to easily find them uh, and uh, uh, find them and analyze them when and if you need it. The staff training, I think I touched a, a, a little bit about uh, on this thing here is uh, is where um, uh, you're gonna manage, uh, uh, the, you can track inside of C-Class the, uh, the training that given users have done for a specific analysis or instrument, and they can only use the schemes that they have been trained for. Um, when a refresh training is due, the rep a report can be produced and warn you about, about the situation. So is, is a good way to keep, um, to keep your, your staff also uh, um, uh, upskilled. Uh, the laboratory message board is like electronic communication uh, tool. Like uh, you can post uh, news and, and instructions and, and, and notice on the on the board, and uh, and everybody can see it. Um, and uh, the historical uh, uh, posts are kept, so you can see what was on the board on any given point in time. Um, automatic uh, status report. Um, so manager can view the status of the samples if they have uh, started on the process. Uh, where where are they? Uh, they they 
they're being uh, uh, invoiced already or they're being analyzed. What, what, so you can you can have those um, uh, automatic reports also inside of the box from, from Velox. And K KPI dashboards, uh, all sorts of dashboards and KPIs that you might, uh, that you may be looking for. Um, again, we have um, um, a uh, predefined set of KPIs, but I understand that there's a, a, um, a difficult place to be in terms of standardization. Everybody will have a different flavor to it. But we do offer out of, of the box KPI dashboarding. Um, so if you look then into and preparing for our next slide, which is the, the implementation slide, and but look hooking with this thing here. So so C class it's really is it's comprised of, of this what we call the setup and configuration uh, part of it where both analytical and systems configurations take place. So on the analytical is more on the technical on the on side of it, like units and, and routing, the methods that you have, standards, how you treat your blanks, products and procedures. So that's really your your uh, your lab technical aspects. Um, and you want to pre-configure all those things. Um, and the system here is more your financial uh, aspects. Who is your staff and, and accesses and what do they do as we're talking about the training and so on. Who are your clients? And then you can uh, kind of like store all the information about your customers in, into, into the system. If you have lab sections or you have templates. So, so this is a, is a key part. Of, this is kind of the foundation of, of, uh, of, uh, of our implementation. And a lot of the things that we discuss here uh, are, are covered in here. Um, but, um, but then effectively comes the, where the action takes place, where, where the production side of things. So, so the production sits on, on the top of, of, uh, of this configuration here and leverages from it. Where, where it navigates the sample through the through the main steps of or, or, um, of production. So from sample receiving, chop registration analysis, capture and validation, reporting and approval, all the way to invoicing. So uh, those items there are informed by by your configuration uh, uh, set up both on system and analytical, and allow you to uh, navigate fast through those um, through those steps. Um, and then a very important part of the game is, is what we call the, the task man. That's, that's where the automation uh, is. So that's the, the horse, uh, the, the workhorse of, of, of C-class. So where you can, uh, everything that can be automated uh, and is logical enough to be automated, you will. Um, and we will, our know-how will come and tell you exactly where we see opportunities for you to do that and to take a routine and mundane tasks and, 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 and uh, a tasks that can be automated. Uh, uh, effectively loading in task men, so task men can process them. So can, it's, it runs on its own uh, on the background and overnight, 24-7, task men is producing uh, 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 and, uh, and, and making the, the, the production flow where it can. So I think it's a key uh, aspect on, on reducing the time uh, that, um, that a sample takes to, to go through the process, okay? So that's that's key part. And we will advise you as well on where the gains are for for and what the opportunities are for task men. and finally auditability i think that's that's key that's uh, it's you know the, the system is fully auditable and everything is tracked and, and stored uh on the sql database so you know uh you know that everything is well backed up and well uh, well kept um yeah so then how do you make the system uh, deployed on your on your site? So that's on your site. That's that's our implementation process there. So uh, our implementation uh, process it's generally taken here in um, in four main steps. Uh, in more in, in four phases we call the initiate, the design, build, and deploy. Um, on the on the configuration training. Uh, it is the, is the initiation phase. So we do, we do configuration training. So we go to site and, and train you how to do your own configurations, right? Uh, you can either come to our offices as well, either way. Um, but uh, that's where you're going to learn how to configure um, uh, the whole aspects that we kind of like discussed in here uh, on the previous slide. So you, you're going to be you're going to be able to navigate and learn how to configure the system. Then we we go to the design uh, phase uh, where we provide assistance uh, to you to configure your own system. So in here, you're training you, and here we hold your hand as you do it. And I think that's a big key thing on the on the Velux model. Um, in, on Previously, we would just uh, say, we're gonna do the design phase that we will configure for you as well. But like, I think we, we're finding out that it's it's better to bring the customers into this phase. That will lower the cost because you're not using our consultancy hours all the time. Uh, and you also take ownership on configuring the system on the way that's applicable to you. 
Um, and I think that brings you a long way in be able to be independent and manage your own, own, uh, own system yourself. I'm not interested in keep you hostage of our skills and then you know every time that you need to do any change you need to come and knock on my door and ask for my assistance what i want you to be fully independent and oper uh, and be able to operate and, and configure your system so that that's what we do on the design phase so the configurations is is, is uh is done and then we go for the build phase on on the, on the build phase we do instrument interfacing so as we as we discussed um our technical team will work on the uh, instruments interfacing that we need to do um, as well as any specified customizations that uh, were defined on the scope, if any. Again, on Velox, the idea is to reduce the, the amount of like uh, customization and go off, off the box, off the shelf. But yes, there's some cases that you might want to do something here and there. And then um, that's where it, it would be done um, on, the, on the build phase. Um, and then uh, uh, this, the team would do factory tests and make sure that everything is performing um, as it's supposed to be. So the system is working as expected. And all of this would happen on our offices uh, um, and that happens without the customer, we just our developing team. And that will happen most likely on our offices in Brisbane where uh, the majority of our of our customers are, sorry, our, our developers are, are located. Um, having the, the uh, you know, pass to the factory testing, there comes the user testing, right? Now is the is the time where the users are gonna put their hands again into the into the system, um, and then we uh, we generally would do that alongside with you. So there will be a, a, a C class implementation team member accompanying the test with you on site. So um, we would be with you as you hook up the balances and instruments into the system and make sure they're always working in order and efficient before we do a, a go live, um, and then. Um, being happy with the user test, then we go to the to the deploy phase where the, we turn the key and the go live starts. Um, uh, we again, alongside with you, registering samples, importing results for the instruments and balances as you analyze and as you process them, um, and then uh, making sure that you you're comfortable and you see that the the the, the system is is producing right. Um, we would then obviously leave site and then start what we call the post go live support, where you're still in touch with your implementation team talking to you uh, routinely and then uh, frequently as, as, you, as you need. And then we, um, we uh, remotely make sure that you are, are up and running as, as planned. Um, so once, uh, once we, uh, we see that you, that you as a customer, it's, um, it's uh, winning and everything is working the way you're supposed to be working, uh, we, we go for what we call the as-built document and the sign-off of the, of the deployment. And then we kind of handing over to the support team. So um, as we do that, uh, we create, well, as, as I said, the, the, the build document. And that's really the, the kind of the blueprint of everything that was deployed on your site. So um, that holds key information about how C-Class was configured for, for your operation. Um, Vena, uh, here on, on, uh, uh, on, in Africa, we, we will vote for it. And obviously having a document well-written and well-kept is, is key for him to do his support work. But for you as a customer as well, it's important. So people uh, come and go, um, and that document uh, will, be, um, will be always available uh, uh, for you to use as a consultation uh, uh, document. And again, for us, you know, for Werner, for example, here in Africa, when he's servicing our customers, that document, we inform him about what's really deployed on, 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 that, on that system. And eventual or future updates and upgrades on the system can be much easier. It can be, uh, uh, can be done with, uh, without too much stress because documentation is in place. So I think that's really key. And that would um, then conclude. So we would go from a basic training, uh, hold your hand as you configure the basics on the system, then we build the, the interfaces and, and, and customization that are required and test it um, on a user level and on a factory level, and then we go live, deploy it, uh, do a, a remote uh, uh, follow-up, and uh, sign off with a document that tells you exactly what has happened uh, for your implementation uh, uh, during the whole course of, of the events. So that's the implementation process that, um, that we have on, on, on the C-Class Velox. Um, I described here like, uh, this this process with a lot of uh, mention that we're going to be with you as a customer alongside with you and yes i, I would prefer to be on site uh, every time i think for me personally i prefer to do that and we have the uh, build relationship build build our report together but i know that the situation at the moment with the current state of affairs like it's not possible uh, to be on site. I think we don't know when the uh, travel ban is going to be lifted and when we're going to be able to travel to site so 
um, if you're interested on, on the product and you, you maybe you'd like to do it, you don't need to refrain from from the from from doing it just because you cannot be on site. We have done many implementations 100% remotely, and it worked. And we know how to do it. It is the most common thing that we've done over the years. No, definitely not. But it's not something that we haven't done. It's something that we have, and we have succeeded doing it. So, so um, uh, it's something that we can definitely uh, uh, take upon and 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 do it. So we're ready to do it at any given point in time. I, the, my only my only thing here is definitely I need reliable network uh, uh, on the on the on the site and responsive IT team that can give us the the support as we deploy the system remotely. But other than that, there's no challenges at all. We're ready for it. Okay. So, so yeah. So I think that takes us to the to the end of my of the story that I was uh, uh, interested to tell you guys today. Um, I think um, um, uh, if you're interested in a more specific demonstration for your needs or for your commodity, don't hesitate to contact myself or Vanner. Our our emails address are in there. You can just drop us a line um, and um, and tell us uh, what you want to hear more about. Uh, uh, maybe uh, give me a little bit detail about your 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 problem that you're trying to solve, and we'd be happy to join you on a call and do a full demonstration of the product. That's it. So thank you very much. Keep safe out there, and I hope to hear from you uh, on my inbox. And uh, hopefully we can um, we can do something together very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vanna. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.